It's goodbye to cheap subsidised petrol for tens of millions of Nigerians. That's because the government plans to stop selling the fuel at the fixed price of just 43 US cents a litre. The Nigerian government imports petrol that it buys at a much higher price on the global market, but then sells it to consumers at the much lower price and has been doing so for decades. This year, the subsidy bill has hit nearly $8 billion. The oil minister says the government can no longer afford it and that the poor are not benefiting from the subsidy as was intended. We bring in our subsidies, our, our products at a certain price and we sell them to the operators at about a third of that uh, price or even less than a third of that price. However, they are resold to the masses at over twice the amount the midline operators get them. We travel to Bielsa in the heart of the oil producing region, home of the oil minister and president, to see whether the government's right. Many say they can't survive without subsidized fuel. That's because the majority of people in this state don't get around in cars, but speedboats and other vessels that guzzle petrol. These are the people most likely to be affected by the fuel subsidy removal. At the moment, they pay something like $10 for this 45-minute speedboat ride home. After the fuel subsidy is removed, that could become $30. Because the cost of transport will triple, they say. 85% of villages in Bayelsa are only accessible by water. Those travelling the furthest will be worst hit. Many don't believe that the billions saved from ending cheap fuel will go to the development projects the government has promised. The country has enough money to take care of things in the country. If they now remove this thing, I am assuring them that there will be a very, I'm telling them that there will be a, be a very big problem in the waterways. The fuel subsidy is set to be removed within weeks. Nigerian unions are planning nationwide demonstrations if the government's plans go ahead. Ivondege Al Jazeera, Yenagoa, Bielsa State, Nigeria.